Hey there, quirky people. I am your host, Anna, and today we're going to look at a member of the Justice Society of America arriving in Black Adam. We've got Hawkman, Cyclone, Dr. Fate, and Adam Smasher who would be taking on Black Adam. And then they'd pair up with him at some point in time. But this particular video is about Noah Centino's character, Albert Rothstein, aka the Adam Smasher. He is one of the powerhouses who is making his debut in the DCEU. And before this, we've actually seen another version of him on CW's The Flash. And guess what? Al Rothstein was played by WWE Hall of Fame Edge, aka Adam Copeland. Rothstein is a metahuman with the ability to increase his size and mass. Keep in mind that Adam Smasher is not the same character as the Adam. People usually mix these characters up because of their abilities, the color scheme of their suits, and even their logos. The Adam is Ray Palmer, who can grow as tall as a small building but his prime ability is to shrink down to the size of an ant. He is basically DC's Ant-Man, but Adam Smasher is an entirely different character. He can only grow big and return back to his regular size. As far as his origins are concerned, he was the grandson of the reluctant supervillain, Cyclotron. He inherited his metahuman powers from his grandfather. He was always raised to be a hero and ultimately went on to be called Nuclon. Before the JSA, he also joined a superhuman team called Infinity Inc. But ever since Black Adam joined the JSA, he and Adam Smasher formed a strong bond. They basically became brothers. Black Adam saw a sort of anger in Rothstein for the JSA as he thought of them as half measures. So Adam used that anger. After a while, Rothstein left the team and helped Black Adam take Kondok back. He became Black Adam's right-hand man. He committed quite a few crimes serving Black Adam, but ultimately saw where he went wrong. So eventually, Black Adam and Rothstein went their separate ways, and Rothstein actually rejoined the JSA. Now coming in his powers and abilities, his specialty is altering the size and density of his body. As a result of exposure to uncontrolled thorium radiation, he can increase his size and grow up to 28 feet tall. He is able to do that by increasing the distance between his own atoms. And what's great about him is that when he increases his size, his physical strength also increases. His offense becomes super strong, and he can easily resist some solid attacks as his mass also increases. He becomes quite durable in a battle. Black Adam is obviously more powerful than him, but Adam Smasher can certainly hold his own against the former champion of Shazam. He can match him blow for blow. But another great thing about his powers is that even in his tall state, he doesn't slow down. His attacks will be stronger and faster. So, he would prove to be much more effective in his tall state as compared to MCU's Giant Man. I'm just gonna go to sleep now for five minutes. I just need five minutes. Five minutes. But yeah, he does carry a limitation as well. If he tries to grow beyond his size limits, then it becomes really tough for him to hold his form. The increased mass comes with the great discomfort. So, he's at his best when he is about 28 feet tall. Besides his powers, Rothstein is also a skilled pilot and mechanic. In the DCEU, he'd be a much younger version of the character as Noah Centino was cast for the part. So it will be interesting to see how the DCEU handles Adam Smasher. Whether he will form a comic book-like kinship with Black Adam remains to be seen. But we reckon that if he doesn't get a lot of screen time in the upcoming movie, then WB would perhaps give him his own series. Or maybe they would come up with an exclusive JSA series for HBO Max. What do you think about that idea? Could a JSA series work? Are you excited to see the Atom Smasher make his DCEU debut? Or are you looking forward to see the other JSA characters in action? Well, I do. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.